Okay, let's welcome you to yet again another exciting edition of the Madiba official show. It's time for the MOS. Ghana's former coach James Kwesi Apia Mayele is in the news once again. What has he said? What has he done? We will be telling you as soon as possible. Please help us by subscribing to this channel and also help us by dispersing and sharing the video so that I can reach as many people as possible. Here is the MOS on the Madiba official channel and I am Madiba. Each and every day we update you, we give you the latest news that is happening in Ghana football. So please, if you've not already subscribed, kindly help us by subscribing and turning on the bell. And if you are a new subscriber too, we really appreciate you. Please turn on the bell so whenever we drop a content, you'll be notified and also put out on the pull notification button. Thank you. Now, James Kwesi Apia, probably known as Mayele, former left back for the Pop Pine Warriors, Asante Kotoko, a legend of Ghana football, former captain of the Black Stars. He has coached Ghana on two different occasions. He coached Ghana from 2012 to 2014 and also 17 to 19 before he was replaced by Charles Kobla Akono, that's CK Akono. According to him, he wants to be the coach of the Black Stars for the third time. And he has brought on things that he thinks he can, he can help Ghana win a trophy and end our, tra uh, our trophy drought that we are currently on. Because Ghana is yet to win any trophy since we won the last half court in 1982. So some 40 years later, Ghana is still on a drought that we are yet to win a trophy. And according to James Kwesi Apia, if the Black Stars want to win a trophy, this is the way to go. And if you can remember, he, uh, James Kwesi Apia, have, uh, during his tenure as the coach of the Black Stars, gave about some 40 players their debut in the Black Stars. And currently, most of the players are in the Black Stars set up and they are the reason why the Black Stars have a team or they have a core of a team right now. So he thinks that if he is to be given a job, he can also make sure you scout quality players for the Black Stars and build it. So he thinks that if Ghana is to end our trophy drought, we have to make sure that we will build a formidable lineup. That's a formidable first level. So having a formidable first level will help us go and do well in tournaments. And also, after we are done having a first level, we have to also make sure that we will have a, another players that will be just behind the first level. So if these uh, players are not there, the other ones will be there to also make sure that they will augment and complement the effort of those that are there in the first level. So it thinks with that, Ghana can be able to win a trophy. And for me, I think if Ghana is to win a trophy, what he's saying is not far from right, but we need a competent coach. Somebody that can be able to bring the players together because already we have a group of players that are very young. As I was saying earlier on, and I said in my initial video, we have Kamal Din Suleiman, a youngster. We have Kudus Mohamed, a youngster. We have Osman Bukari, a youngster. Felix Afena Jantu is also a youngster. Silas is also a youngster. Then you look at Tarek Lamte and the likes. All these players are youngsters that if you have a coach that can be able to blend them together and make sure that they can be able to play the team, you can be able to compete with the best in Africa. Now currently the team that's making waves in Africa is Morocco. You look at their players compared to Ghana and you realize that Ghana is not far-fetched. The only thing that we are lacking is a, there is a top notch coach that can be able to bring the players and make sure that he will build a platform for the players. Give the coach that is a target and give him years for him to be able to build a team. So as a result, we can be able to end our, uh, that our trophy who do. But not just having a, level, uh, a first level, you can have a first level and second level. But if the coach is not able to bring the players together, there's no way we can compete because I can't leave. Most of the African nations are becoming stronger and stronger. Yesterday, yes, we thought some nations are not 
at the top level in terms of playing in the AFCON. But now look at Madagascar, what they are doing. Even lowly one Comoros defeated us in the last AFCON. So if you want to do well in the that is the AFCON and enter AFCON who do, we have to make sure you appoint a competent manager. I'm not here to be at a PR for any manager. But as we've been saying, if Chris Hill is giving the job because I don't think we can hire a top notch coach and pay like 90,000 or 100,000 US dollars. We cannot pay such a lofty sum of money to coaches. But Chris Hilton already is in his term. We are able to pay him. So if we are able to pay him, it means we can be able to maintain him and give him something to call the Black Stars. For me, I think we need a competent and top notch manager to manage the Black Stars. And as a result, we can be able to achieve our aim of ending our trophy hoodoo. Let us know your thoughts on what James Akwesi Apemayele have to say concerning Ghana's trophy drought. Thank you for always sticking and staying with us. Bye-bye.